Today guys on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at a beer from a brewery that's slowly becoming one of my favorite breweries. This is from Clown Shoes Brewery out of Massachusetts. This is their Hammer of the Holy. It's an imperial stout coming in 11% alcohol by volume and this one is a little bit crazy. It's basically their vampire um, imperial stout which is an anniversary beer. It's a smoked imperial stout aged on oak staves I believe but they took that brewed it with holy water, and then here's the kick. They threw it in rum barrels that were aging rum for 40 years. So that's crazy. This was a very, very limited release beer. Only a few cases got out there. I know it did get to California because you can get it at qualityliquorstore.com. I'm looking forward to this one. I loved Vampire Slayer. I love their barrel aged Imperial Styles. They do a really nice job. So let me get this one into a glass so that you guys know it smells taste and give me the final verdict on the Clown Shoes Hammer of the Holy. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Hammer of the Holy. Oh, man, you get smoke, chocolate, coffee, bourbon, vanilla, oakiness, that rum spiciness in there, a sweetness, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffee. Just a crazy smelling beer, awesome stuff. I got to the taste on the hammer of the holy, and it's really hard not to say it that way. Cheers. Oh man, that's awesome. Right there from the tongue, big milk chocolate, cocoa powder, coffee, middle of the mouth, more of that big chocolate just coats the mouth, then that smokiness kind of lurks in there. It's very, very subtle, and what's awesome about it is it plays off the sweetness, so it's like chocolate-covered bacon. Um, not overwhelming at all. I'm not a big smoked beer fan. This is not overwhelming. Their Vampire Slayer was very well balanced, and I gotta give them credit for that. Lots of coffee, vanilla, oakiness, definitely getting a spicy note in there. I'm assuming it's from the rum barrel. Um, it's kind of a sweet spiciness. Aftertaste is fairly sweet in the aftertaste. I'm getting more of that milk chocolate coffee, a little bit of smokiness kind of popping off of vanilla, kind of tobacco. I mean, that, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a smoked tobacco sweetness, uh, vanilla, bourbon, a little bit of like a leather note in there as well, oakiness. That rum barrel did awesome things for this beer. It kind of subdued a little bit of the smokiness, but at the same time, it created more of a, a sweet tobacco type of flavor, and it's just awesome stuff. And 11%, I don't know where that alcohol is hiding, but it's not in this class, not in the taste. It is awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Hammer of the Holy. Coming in 11% alcohol by volume. Very limited distribution, but if you want to get it, you can go to qualityliquorstore.com. Guys, this one is getting an A. Again, Clown Shoes just keeps surprising me. You know that sometimes they catch a bad rap for their beer names or their label art or whatever it is, but they consistently produce some of my favorite beers. You know, they kind of go over the top uh, with some of their beers, but they nail them, unlike some other breweries that try to do that. And I think... With this one, they took their Vampire Slayer, which is a fantastic base smoked Imperial Stout, which is very balanced, and they just keep doing different stuff with it. This time they threw it in that 40-year-old rum barrel, which is absolutely insane, and it really helped this beer. It kind of accentuated some of the sweetness, added some spiciness to it, added that, you know, that, that oakiness, that vanilla, kind of bourbon-y flavor that really kind of accents off the smoke and it just worked and at 11% you know it's definitely a sipper you can start to feel the alcohol but you don't taste it at all it doesn't interfere with the beer it's a fantastically well brewed beer a well crafted beer just awesome stuff and I highly recommend you guys check it out getting an A for me and remember folks slice too short drink amazing beers cheers